Hi everyone, I am Shruti, Director at Odin School. Uh, today we have with us Odin grad Somdeep Ghosh. Somdeep uh, got a job at Zero Code HR as a software developer uh, working on SQL and Python platforms. Um, he went through the six months program with us and then he successfully um, cracked the job. He comes from a background uh, in uh, computer science. He did his graduation in computer science, then his master's in computer science. Uh, but then he felt that his college education, was there was something lacking in his college education uh, and uh, Odin School's boot camp helped him fill those gaps. I will not take much of the time. Let us directly talk with Somdeep and help understand uh, how his experience was and what actually helped him crack this great job. Hi, Somdeep. Hello. Uh, to start with, let me congratulate you on Thank you. getting selected at Zero Code HR. Love to know your uh, experience of the interview through the program. But before that, please introduce yourself. I'd like to know more about you. Okay. So, uh, my name is Somdeep and I am from Kolkata. I have done my graduation in BSc Computer Science Honours. Uh, and then I completed my Masters, MCA. In 2022, uh, my specialization was data science, and since uh, then I uh, joined one company uh, that was uh, I interned over there. So for six months, I joined as a business analyst intern over there, and then from there I thought that I was lagging some skills. So then I thought of joining one uh, boot camp, and then I got to know about Odin School's comprehensive boot camp, data science boot camp. And since then, I uh, completed my uh, I joined Odin School on September, and then I completed uh, it on. Um, this the uh, May. Uh, since then, I, I was keep uh, participating in recruitment drives and all. Um, so then I got the chance of meeting with the uh, zero code HR, and then uh, all the process interview took. Great. Um, now you have uh, studied data science in college. And yeah. Then you chose to join the boot camp again. What is the difference between the way you learned data science in college and the way you learned in this boot camp? Um, do you think that is a call that many other students do? Is a college degree enough? And what is the advantage that boot camp like Odin School's um, data science boot camp add and bring to your profile? So talking about the advantages, whatever the Odin School is giving us, so Odin School is providing us many advantages like the uh, whatever the teaching, they hold the mentorship session for every uh, one week under uh, and then they uh, teach you many uh, career services sessions are there and then they uh, teach you many uh, skills other than uh, SQL also like Python is also there then Power BI also there machine learning is also one of the skills so these are the skills which I think that uh, Odin School is giving us uh, the, and apart from the college I don't think that the degree is only the one thing which matters the most in the interview because when I, uh, when an interview is concerned uh, I think that the skills are the ones which uh, matters at the last because in front of the interviewer, the interviewer doesn't check your degree. He will ask you a certain amount of questions like on whichever skills you have, you have to answer it. And I think that Odin School is helping us to gain that degree. Great, thank you. Um, let's talk about your interview experience. Yeah. So you got hired as a software engineer in the R&D department of Zero Code HR. Yeah. Tell us about your interview process. How did it start? What were the different rounds? Mm. And how was the entire experience? Okay, so uh, first of all, I was given a role as a uh, implementation analyst over there. So uh, I I gave the interview over there, but due to some reasons, uh, like they told me that I am more into uh, data uh, data analyst role. Uh, so then I uh, so they then they just called me the so then that day I uh, I did not was not able to get selected on that company then on the other another day they called me the HR called me and said that they have one more positions available so why don't I come and give the interview and then I just came uh, um, go there and gave the interview and it was the mainly the questions they were asking for my skills only like the uh, SQL only they mainly focused on different questions like you should know all the joins and then uh, on the aggregate functions and then window functions and then many more uh, where and difference between uh, where a clause and having clause uh, where should we use constraint these were some of the questions they were asking me 
and uh, uh, this was from SQL and apart from that as it's a zero code as the name suggests that it's a low code platform uh, job, uh, company so uh, you need to be a hands uh, you need to be you know have some hands on experience on HTML and CSS also so they also asked me as I have also done uh, in my uh, graduation I have also done some projects on web scrapping so I did know uh, some concepts on HTML uh, also so so these were the questions they asked me okay. So what was the first round? The first so, interaction with the company, what was it? Yeah, so the first interaction of, of, of the company was with the HR, uh, where she introduced me uh, who, uh, what the company is and what they want from me. Were you nervous? Um, how was your, how did you um, overcome those jitters? Uh, yeah, so first of all, as it's, as I am, I was the fresher for the role, so I was a bit nervous. Uh, but then, like, uh, like as the mentors of the audience school were always, uh, like, keeping in touch with me, like, they always had an interaction like how to keep uh, keep going on with the trend and how to be not to be nervous and all so they were all constantly uh, like pushing me from behind like don't be nervous and all give the interview so i would say ki, uh, like the first of all they the hr called me and gave uh, introduced me about all the all of the company and then uh, the, as i said that i was given a role as an implementation engineer so then i got interviewed by two people over there and they said that i'm over qualified uh, because i was into more data uh, analyst role yeah. so then they called me and uh, some other guy took me interview uh, who, who that was a software engineer guy a lead software engineer so he asked me the questions on uh, r and d and all this is a very interesting thing that you bring up you know and this i think um is what happens in the industry most often yeah. that uh, when profiles are sent for a f certain job they see that a candidate has potential mm. but might not necessarily fit that particular role yes. but then if they see potential in the candidate they will still try and retain the candidate in different roles you know try to fit them into different roles yes, yes. so what is important is probably not lose hope that okay I was interviewing for this role yes. why didn't this work out yes. but also whatever opportunity is given you kind of make the best use of it because yes. if you are good if you have technical competency the company will not let you go yes yes absolutely right? do, you, do you agree with that? Yes. Based on your experience. Yeah, I I totally agree with it. Uh, in fact, I'm hundred percent agreeing with it because at first I also uh, lost some kind of hope because even also I was very prepared. I like I I did my uh, preparation uh, from the very beginning only. I was very uh, well versed with SQL and whatever the skills I mentioned in my uh, resume. So, but then also uh, due to some reasons they were just not going taking me onto that particular role. But then they again offered me another role. Another role right. Yeah. Now you have gone through the entire journey, right? Yeah. You've started the did induction, different yes. technologies, and now you've got your offer also. Yeah. Now looking back on your experience, um, can you identify probably three to five things that actually helped you crack this job through the boot camp? What are those important elements that actually helped you? Okay, so first of all, uh, I would say the bootcam is very much uh, helpful for the students who are mainly freshers because uh, the freshers, they literally don't know uh, what to do and what not to do. And the mentors are so, so good over here. Like they will tell you like, uh, and like they will also keep a track on your progress and whatever skills you are lagging and where you are lagging and why you are lagging. So these are the things which uh, I think as a fresher, uh, like they also expect from a mentor and Odin School uh, is no doubt in like, there is no doubt in giving me, giving us such opportunities. And on the other hand, uh, as per as the uh, career sessions, uh, we have Vivek sir over here. So uh, Vivek sir is also very uh, helpful. Like uh, he was like, he just uh, guide us like how to be in, um, say what to do in an interview and what not to do. So, and then also the placement at last, the placement is what that matters, right? So uh, I would say these things only, right? Ki, uh, don't just lose hope. Ki, uh, one company, uh, if, if there's uh, like, if you're not getting into one company, uh, don't just lose hope, just keep on trying. You don't know like when and when the door will knock for you. Right. Tell me about your uh, experience with recruitment drives. How did that help? The weekly recruitment yes. drives that happened. How did that help you prepare? 
ओके सो रिगार्डिंग द रिक्रूटमेंट ड्राइव द फर्स्ट टू ड्राइव आई वॉज नॉट स्कोरिंग वेल सो देन आई कम टू नो वेयर माई बैकलॉग्स आर हैपनिंग एंड वॉट रीजन स्पेशली माई टाइम वॉज नॉट मैचिंग आई वॉज अनेबल टू मीट द टाइम देन आई केम टू नो दैट फ्रॉम वन मेंटर कॉल मी सडनली आई थिंक इट वॉज स्वाति ओनली सो ही शी जस्ट कॉल मी एंड आस्क मी लाइक वॉट आर द थिंग्स यू आर लैगिंग सो आई जस्ट हैड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ हर एंड देन आई जस्ट केप ऑन माई सेल्फ डूइंग लाइक प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑन दोज थिंग्स एंड देन आई सडनली स्टार्ट टू गो अप इन द लीड board so what like what i'll suggest is like uh, in the uh, recruitment drive like uh, one to uh, two recruitment drive is just for your uh, practice don't take that ki if you are not going good with, uh, in the first two drives uh, you are not you are good not good you are bad but uh, like after three to four drives you will have a exposure on how things work and how companies work and what companies expect from you so on the and and as you know the uh, our recruitment drive is based on such conditions ki like the questions are coming directly from the company and the timings are also been set for the uh, directly from the company only we can't do any, like uh, the odin school is not can't do anything so you're saying recruitment drives uh, helped you by first helping you understand where the gaps yes, are and yeah. where you should work yeah uh, the recruitment has also helped you correct your timing as well yes. so you could probably do do it faster and yeah. things like that and gave you more exposure on how the real interview real, yeah. actually is yeah real industry how it works and how the questions so uh, that the, kind of gave you confidence confidence in yeah right great um so you had two technical rounds yeah Did, did they ask you about the projects yes you, obviously yeah can you tell me a little bit about the projects that you did yes. and how that helped you crack this interview okay so first uh, like uh, i would say like the uh, i got three interview rounds because even the managing director was asking me about my projects um so the first uh, guy he asked me about all my skills uh, all my projects like as i mentioned in my capstone project uh, like i did a project on uh, sql and uh, aws and azure so both three things were mixed up in the project so i uh, and like i gave him a de- de- description about whatever i did and then uh, some skills on first the first interview asked some skills on sql like he was he wanted to know about how much i know about sql the some queries were there he uh, told me and i gave the answer and then on and the second interviewer uh, he asked me like uh, situational based questions uh, like uh, if you are into this company how will you cope up with these things like how will you manage your timings uh, suppose if there is a conflict between you and your teammates how will you resolve those conflicts and all so situational based questions they were asking asking me and lastly the managing director asked me about everything uh, from my uh, family and all and then the projects and why i chose Was zero code HR and um, like, uh, what's your future plan for the next five years? Great. Zero code is a very upcoming company. Right? Yeah. Uh, they have uh, their headquarters in the US. Mm. And they do a lot of work, and it's a growing company. So for somebody who wants to get into this company, right? And zero code is our regular hiring partner. They keep coming back for more and more talent from Odin School. Mm. Um, what would be your suggestions or a few tips for your juniors? in odin school who who want to make it if they get a chance to interview at zero code hr hmm. what would your suggestions for them be so my suggestions will be uh, not much but i'll just say that um, uh don't just only rely on whatever odin school is giving you should also do your own personal work like you need to practice more on uh, this uh, competitive websites like hacker rank and lead code and uh, this github and all we need to participate and compete more on those web- websites also and uh, secondly uh, whatever zero code is uh, now uh, focusing on uh, like they they are a low co- code based platform so they want uh, people uh, who are talented into everything like not only uh, sql is required they just want and as you said that it's a very picky company yes. so they just want uh, everyone to know everything so you need to have a knowledge on uh, if you are mentioning your skills as uh, sql and python you also need to have a man, some knowledge at least basic knowledge of html and css also because uh, the roles over there are uh, inclined with if you know the uh, like you know, technologies like um, HTML and CSS. That's an added advantage. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So these were some of the um, question. Uh, 
my suggestions and lastly i just want to say one thing if uh, if uh, if the if for any reason the company uh, is you know uh, not taking your profile for the uh, for the roles or something like that just uh, less, just just like uh, make them feel that you are the best suited for this role and make them convinced that uh, like uh, you can cope up with anything if if also you know don't know the new technology but you will be able to cope up with uh, if you are given some time and good training correct that you're very right you know companies especially at the fresher level or yeah. the zero to two years of experience level mm. they don't expect the candidates to come completely ready with yes. everything yes but they want to see that the candidate is interested to learn pick up new skills has yes. that enthusiasm and that curiosity to learn new technology right? yes yes um, because there is a training period after you enter the company also yes. so if they see that you have the ability to learn and your fundamentals are strong hmm. i think that will make the cut in most of yes. the companies in that 0 to 2 years of experience range yeah absolutely so that's guess so when are you joining so i'll be joining by 22nd of may uh, i got my offer letter today only uh, so yeah i'll be joining so by great great interacting with you congratulations to you Thank once you. again and uh, keep in touch with odin school yeah to help sure all sure the other students absolutely sure the aspirants sure you know. Sure, you are, sure. You are an inspiration for them. <laughs> sure, uh, sure. Thank you. And uh, it'd be great to have you. Thank uh, you. Keep interacting with you, and all the best for everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there you have it. That's the story of Somdev Ghosh. How he started. How his interview process was. What actually helped him uh, through the program to crack this job, and what actually worked. It was great interacting with him, and we wish Somdeep. all the very best for his future uh, to know more about such stories you can visit odin schools social platforms and to know more about the boot camp uh, log in to www.odinschool.com um, we have all the information about data science boot camp there join odin school and become a success story like somdeep kosh